Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. Today, we're gonna to be sending webhooks from Integromat to Zapier. If you're new to automation, there's two behemoths in the space, Integromat and Zapier. In Integromat, you can tend to do more technical things, and in Zapier, you can tend to do things a whole lot easier. So webhooks are a great way of sending information from one automation software to another. Webhooks are the robot equivalent of email. Basically, it sends information through the URL that it's being sent to, and you can add any type of information into a webhook, like a string, a sentence, a variable, even a attachment. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be dealing with an existing automation and grabbing certain data points from Integromat relaying those data points into a different automation inside of Zapier so that you can keep the information that you started with. So for today, we are gonna need a free Integromat account and a paid premium Zapier account. Zapier does make webhooks a premium feature, so be aware of that if you are trying to use webhooks in your automation infrastructure. Let's dig in and see how it's done. First, start with an existing automation. We started with a watch records step in Airtable here in Integromat and got a whole bunch of data um, that we have on our Airtable record. Now, our first step in Zapier is gonna be to catch a hook from anywhere, right? So we copy that URL and then we need to go back to Integromat to direct that URL to go somewhere. So Integromat, it's not called webhook. Integromat, it's called HTTP. Um, you can do a couple other fancier things with that, but in this case, we're just going to make a simple request. So that URL that we copied from Zapier, we're gonna paste that right on top, and the method is going to be a post method. There are a whole bunch of different methods here. We really only care about post methods for webhooks because that is sending information to this URL. We're saying, hey, we are posting new information to this URL and Zapier is on the other side saying, hey, I'm listening to this URL for any new information that you post to it. So then we actually get into the body and for simplicity, we're gonna use form data. And form data works off of key value pairs. So we're gonna call this key, AKA the name of the variable, client. And in this case, our client name is Google. So the variable in there is just client. Um, now, the other one is going to be send date. So our send date, again, comes from that first step in the Integromat automation. Uh, and that is going to just be the send data. Uh, and the key for the project type, we're just going to call it project type. And then, again, grab that value from the trigger step from Airtable. So that's it for now. We're going to stop here and go back to Zapier. And this is where you need both sort of being active at the same time. So when you start the automation for Integromat, it is going to find that Airtable record and it's going to send an HTTP request. And then in Zapier, you need to hit the test button, test trigger button, so that you actually get the variables and the material that was shared by Integromat. So we're just gonna build a quick Slack step here to be able to show you the variables that we grabbed, but you can see it right here in the dropdown. The client is Google, the project type is uh, tutorial making, right? And, and these are just a, one of any variables that you could send uh, between different automation software. When you have an existing automation in Integromat or in Zapier, we have tutorials for both sending webhooks and data going, going in either direction, but these tools can be really powerful when used together. And sometimes you get more comfortable doing certain steps on one tool versus the other. And in other scenarios, you actually need to use one tool versus the other because of the already supported integrations. So I hope this video has been helpful. Now you know how you can send a webhook from Integromat to Zapier to grab any information from your Integromat to share over to a Zap. As always, links and tutorials are in the description down below, including the webhook from Zapier to Integromat. So if you're curious about that, check it out. Please like and subscribe this channel if it has been helpful for you. And if there's anything you'd like us to cover here, don't be afraid to comment down below. And don't forget, keep the flow.